Welcome back to Brother Man Gaming, and we are back with some Banjo Kazooie. Uh, uh, oh, screwed up that menu. I was gonna leave that totals on for a second. We are back with some Gobi's Valley. We are about halfway through, a little less, because we gotta collect the notes, which is gonna take eh, probably an episode or two. But we left off trying to collect these Air Jordans, which. We gotta have, uh, Boggy, not Boggy, I keep calling him Boggy, Bottle, Bottles, that's his name, Bottles help us with. Um, so let's find Bottles, I believe, oh, this is another thing, which clearly we're not gonna be able to do without our, uh, Air Jordan, so let's try and find Bottles. I believe he's this way. Um, and another thing, well, I'll let Bottles do his little speech here. Well, I'll let that timer go down first, because I think it might interrupt us no matter where we are. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Until you find faster feet! Alright. These are the running shoes. Peaky wears them on her scrawny feet to make her run really fast for a limited time. Oh, and he's gonna refill. I think we only lost like one thing, so it's not too bad. But also, well played! I, I vividly remember that this is the last move. It's a little sad in a way. That's the last we get to talk to our uh, bottle-eyed friend. No, I want you to pop up and talk to me. How can you talk to me from your hall? No, I can't hear you. All right, well, I was gonna say, I believe in Banjo-Tooie, they actually kill him off. It's quite fucking gruesome. Um, they raise the stakes, uh, if I believe, if I'm, uh, correct, it's, uh, a little bizarre. When I was a kid, I was, uh, a little shocked. I mean, I didn't like bottles as much as I do now, but still, I was, uh, a bit upset. Alright, so, I think we need the running shoes to do this thing over here. We have to like, oh my god, we have to grab, oh, fuck, oh no, we still have the shoes, there we go, yeah, we have to grab the gold out of there, you had that for a thousand years, well, not anymore, baby, <laughs> alright, so that's six out of ten, um, I think, honestly, although it might be Banjo-Tooie, there's like a way to like glitch it without the shoes. I don't remember. Alright, then we gotta do this race up here. I like how there's just boot- well, no, because there's a lot of places you have to use the boots. I was gonna say there's boots for that tiny, tiny little bit in case you don't want to jump. Oh, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Dude, they take so much time during the cutscene. Eight seconds. Will we make it? Of course we will. Of course we won't. <laughs> Jesus. All right, well, we gotta run it back. And I, I said in an early episode that I had a, um, what do you call it, Game Shark for this. Oh my god, this cutscene bullshit's gonna drive me crazy. I wonder if there's like a Game Shark thing that I can just put the fast boots always on. That would be insane in this. Just having a move at this speed constantly. I'll have to check out some of the Game Shark codes and report back before. Oh my god, hold on. No, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Ooh, before the next episode. Um, because I believe I already have them inputted on here. I just haven't fiddled around with any of them. Ha Mummies don't need air now? What is this? What is this life? Just give me the uh, jigsaw piece and let me live! 
I don't want to be a mummy, okay? Jesus Christ. Alright, let me get air bubbles. Restart this. This is a cluster. Thank you! <laughs> you know, I like the design of those moments. They remind me... I used to play this game when I was like... A, elementary school like where you had to you were a tomb raider not tomb raider but like a guy collecting gold in a tomb and you had to skate past these mummies it was super fun so addicting oh my god if anyone can remind me of the name of that game oh i wish i could play that game again some games, though, are just lost the time, and I feel like that might be one of them. Like, I think you had a certain amount of moves to, uh, I'm trying to... Because I really want to play that game again, like, I think you had a certain amount of moves, and the mummy would have a certain amount of moves, like, you could move faster than the mummy, and you had to collect the treasure, or get out of- you had to, like, get out of the maze before the mummy caught you. And the mummy would move slower. Oh man, that game. That game was so fun as like a 10 year old. I don't I don't think we could have done this before the water fell. Because I think that's what I was trying to do before. Oh god, this thing. This this thing that's about to pop up is stressful. Why is there a, a flight pad in the water? Would that even work? Someone's just like, alright, it's been a minute, there's not really any assets there, let's put a flight pad there. Someone, it's like fucking 4am in the morning, and someone on the team's like, ah, fuck it, fine. No. Uh, oh shit. Alright, you gonna rise? Alright. We got ourselves another pyramid, but is it the best one? I don't think so. In fact, it might be the most obnoxious one. Because it is intense. It requires... It requires burning. <laughs> it is a, a maze. King Sandy Butt. Face is wrath. You choose now. So we have to find a uh, witch switch in here before we find the exit. The exit is pretty easy to find. Um, the witch switch, however, I sometimes have difficulty finding, but I believe it is all the way to the right. But finding them both within the a minute is the problem. I believe it is insta-death. Uh, is this where it is? Yes. Alright, so we got another layer Jiggy to find for us. We have two waiting for us now. But, uh, the thing is, also, now, if I die, I don't have to go back and get it. I believe. I believe that's, that's like, an autosave type of thing. I don't like this music. I really don't. Oh, are we gonna make it? Take that! Alright. And it's kind of weird. Uh, you'd think there'd be like a pyramid guy you'd have to fight here, but no. Nope. Hey, right. we got eight jigsaw pieces. One of them's the Jinjo, and I actually think I know where the last one is. I think it involves flying. Uh, there's a, yeah, there's a Jinjo in there. So we are gonna have to come back in this tomb at some point because. Unfortunately, I don't have the time to do this all in one session. Um, so let's exit this tomb here. Is there anything here? 
Let's get this egg. Let's get this egg. And next time on Brother Man's Gaming, we will find the last jigsaw piece and collect some more notes. Start the note collecting on uh, Gobi Valley. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys then.